resist the devil and he will flee from you. It isn't just resist the devil in your, in your church or in your thought life. It's, you've got to resist the devil in slavery. You've got to resist the devil in pedophilia. You've got to resist the devil in the legalization of drugs. You know, when I think about this, if a country is willing to vote in favor of men in women's sports, men that think they're women in women's prisons, getting women pregnant, uh, if they're willing to take children away from parents because the child is, at the age of seven ought to be able to know what they want to do, can't drive a car, can't own a gun, can't vote, but can permanently mutilate their, their genitals. There, if you can have rational arguments from, from legislators in California this week, this month, voting on legalizing sex between homosexual men and 14-year-old boys because they, don't, they no longer want to be prosecuted for going after 14-year-olds, they probably would come against you for preaching against it as well. I would right. think that the moment is coming very quickly, as in Canada, where certain parts of the Bible are labeled as hate speech for saying what you say. And so you can't preach that. You can't preach this. You can't preach that. And it's not too far before you see your clergy locked up and in prison, your churches shut down. And I, and I do believe that's the plan. Oh boy, subscribe right now.